So in this video we are going to learn how to uh, show the details in tabular format. So we're going to implement that into our department component or in the department page. What we'll do is we'll create a simple table to display the details of department. So what is the department ID, department name, we're going to show this with the details. So we'll start this writing the code in department.js, uh, the department component. So we're going to implement the table using React Bootstrap. So we'll import table from React Bootstrap. Okay. Next. we will declare the constructor so that we can uh, declare the uh, details I mean the department uh, object so we'll write the constructor and say props and then we have to write super props so why do we have to write super I'll explain you in in a moment so there is something called this dot this dot state where you can declare all your variables so in this case D departments is a variable which I'm declaring which is an empty array or empty object we are expecting a JSON uh, D, uh, department details into this department uh, DEPS object so this dot state contains the objects that we want to use while rendering and to use this keyword we have to write super props so without writing super you will not be able to you will be able to write but it will not be initialized so to initialize this keyword you have to write super so I've written super props and then this dot state so this dot state you can add the variables that you want to use while rendering the component okay so we're gonna next what we are going to do is we will remove the content here the entire HTML content and then we'll add the table here so here I'll say table since we have already imported table here we're going to use that so I'll say table class name equal to margin top I'm gonna leave it as 4 and the style will be striped bordered hover and size equal to small okay so we have the table declared now we will declare what the headers so we have two headers department ID and department name and uh, yeah that's it so we have we have to declare the headers T I'll write T head so this will be a single row inside the row we have two headers the first header is department ID and the second header is okay, and the second header is department name okay so that was about the header now in the body we have to write the content so it can have many rows right it can have two rows two departments uh, ten departments or 50 departments or how many departments it can have it can have so you have to take it from the database and show so while taking it from the database we'll be taking it in the form of object and then we have to iterate over each of the object and you know, render that as a separate row so to be able to do that <coughs> so we'll be take we'll be getting the department details in DEPS object so that we're gonna map so I'll write DPS 
dot map I'll get each of the department okay and then the arrow symbol and then here we'll write the rows table row so here we have to write the key will be the key for each and every row so we have to identify each and every row by a unique ID right that unique ID we will consider as department ID so DPS contains a lot of departments we're going to map that and take each and every department and then map it right so we're gonna so the first row will be the department ID sorry the inside the row we have to write TD so next we have uh, what we have to display the department ID itself department ID and then we have department name right so let's just save and check what's happening so DPS is not defined so we have it here fine so what we are going to do is when the component is mounted so we will add the department uh, department object and add some dummy values for now so what we are going to do is we will write a function refresh list So we're going to write refresh list. So inside refresh list, I'll say this dot set state. Okay. Inside that, I will set the state of the department's object. I'll write, I'll add some two uh, departments. So we're going to replace this later on uh, so that we consume the API and get the details from the API so for now we'll so just for the learning sake we will add department details in the front end itself department ID we'll see a one and department name will be IT. So let's have another row. Department ID equal to two, and department name will be support. So let's save this. there seems to be some issue let me start the server again
we forgot to add one thing here so here so we have to write constant we have to declare right DPS without which we will not be able to use it DPS is nothing but this dot state right so now we should be able to see an empty table okay now what we'll do we have to refresh the list we want to call this refresh list method so that it will set the department object as given in the details here so we are going to use a lifecycle method called component did mount component did mount so this method component did mount will be executed when all the components have been rendered all the components required for this uh, uh, to render this page has been rendered then this component did mount will be executed will be called so here we'll write when everything is done loading we'll write we'll say refresh list this dot refresh list now we'll see okay this seems to be some issue sorry this has to come inside the d row tag okay so now we have department id as one department name it and support so quick re recap of what what's happening i mean how did we implement this we imported the table from react bootstrap and then we have to write a constructor inside that we're going to set the state inside the state we'll add dps object which uh, using which we are going to construct the table so after adding the constructor we added the render method inside the render method the first thing that we have to write is declare the object again from the state once we have the object we have uh, implemented the table with two headers department ID and department name and then taking this object we are mapping each and every object into a separate row okay and then when we do this we get an empty table and then we implement this refresh list method where we are going to pass some dummy data to our DPS object which is inside our state and then we are going to call that method from component did mount so when all the components have been rendered we will call this dot refresh method which will update the you know uh, the details the value of the DPS or departments object 